Yeah, Bethlehem School District hosting a parent public forum tonight on the agenda, meeting the school resource officers and also learning about some upgrades to safety. News 10 ABC's James Delafuente taking a closer look. Thanks so much for coming out tonight to hear a little bit about our student safety measures we have in place. It's no secret that many schools have experienced tragedy and those are extreme, extreme examples. Um, but tonight's topic is long overdue. That topic, keeping kids safe. Every school in the Bethlehem district has been retrofitted with an auto locking door, so there is an immediate shut and lock. They have also integrated their camera badge system to be able to know exactly who is in the buildings at all times. They now have a one touch 911 system that alerts safety teams immediately. We also have 911 automatic alerts. So when 911 is called from anywhere in the district, the safety team for those either building or district teams are alerted immediately. Parents are also being presented with the idea of the locking phone cases known as a yonder bag to reduce student distractions. Now that hot topic is only preliminary, but what's definite are the school resource officers. We have um, Detective Craigie in the middle school, I'm in the high school, and we split the elementary schools in terms of the responsibilities. Um, that we have to attend to every day and we keep detailed um, stats on those and we average between about 50 to 60 calls of service per month. Detective Mike Bourbon with the Bethlehem Police Department telling the forum they go through rigorous training. Our training basically again starts when we get hired as a police officer. Um, it is an extensive training again, starts with the orientation field training process, but when you become an SRO that training really takes it up a notch. And for now, the school feels prepared to handle the new school climate. Reporting in Bethlehem, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.